Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are having another very very interesting question from algebra. Here we have to evaluate x minus 3 whole power 13 minus x minus 3 whole power minus 13. If given equation is 2x minus 7 whole square equal to 5. So let's get started by writing required expression equal to e first. Then I can also write x cannot be 3 as it is in the denominator x minus 3. Now I will write expression e equal to x minus 3 whole power 13 minus 1 over x minus 3 whole power 13. Now I will consider x minus 3 equal to alpha and 1 over x minus 3 beta. So I can write expression e which we are looking for will be alpha power 13 minus beta power 13. So I can write alpha will be x minus 3 and beta is 1 over x minus 3. Let's consider our given equation also. Apply a minus b whole square formula in LHS. We will get 4x square minus 28x plus 49 equal to 5 or we can write 4x square minus 28x plus 44 equal to 0. Equation is divisible by 4. Let's divide by 4. x square minus 7x plus 11 equal to 0. This is our quadratic equation. Now we have alpha and beta. Let us calculate alpha times beta. This will be equal to x minus 3 times 1 over x minus 3. Both the terms will be over. We will get alpha times beta equal to 1. Now I will calculate alpha minus beta. So let me write here alpha minus beta. This will be equal to x minus 3 minus of 1 over x minus 3. Let's take LCM. I will get x minus 3 whole square minus 1 over x minus 3. Now we will use a minus b whole square formula. We will write x square minus 6x plus 9 minus 1 over x minus 3. Or we can write x square minus 6x plus 8 over x minus 3. Now our quadratic equation was, if I will write here, x square minus 7x plus 11 equal to 0. So I will try to maintain our numerator in this form. So I will be writing here x square minus 7x plus 11. Now I have to compensate x and constant. So I will write here minus 7 plus x will be minus 6x and 11 minus 3 will be 8 over x minus 3. Now you can see our quadratic equation is x square minus 7x plus 11. So here I can write value will be 0. So this will be equal to 0 plus x minus 3 over x minus 3. Or I can write x minus 3 over x minus 3 value will be 1. So alpha minus beta is 1, alpha times beta is also 1. Now we have to calculate, let me write here, alpha times beta is 1, alpha minus beta is also 1 and our target expression is alpha power 13 minus beta power 13. Now I will consider our second equation alpha minus beta equal to 1. 
alpha minus beta equal to 1. Let's consider squaring both sides and cubing both sides. So I will use a minus b whole square and a minus b whole cube formula. Let's use, I will get alpha square plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta equal to 1. Now alpha beta is 1. So I can write alpha square plus beta square minus 2 times 1 equal to 1 or alpha square plus beta square minus 2 equal to 1. Now we'll add 2 to both sides. We'll get alpha square plus beta square value will be 3. Now we will apply a minus b whole cube. So I will write here alpha cube minus beta cube minus 3 alpha beta times alpha minus beta and 1 cube is 1. Now alpha beta is 1, alpha minus beta is also 1. So I can write alpha cube minus beta cube minus 3 equal to 1 or alpha cube minus beta cube. This will be equal to 4. Let's say this is our equation 1 and let's say this is our equation number 2. Now I will consider is squaring again. So I will write here alpha square plus beta square whole square. This will be equal to 3 whole square is squaring of this equation. Equation number 1. Let's apply a plus b whole square once again. We will get alpha power 4 plus beta power 4 plus 2 times alpha square beta square which is 1 equal to 9. Or I can write alpha power 4 plus beta power 4 equal to 7. So this equation I will consider equation number 3. Again I will consider squaring both sides. So I will write alpha power 4 plus beta power 4 equal to 7. Whole square, whole square. We will apply a plus b whole square formula. So this time we will get alpha power 8 plus beta power 8 plus 2 times alpha power 4 beta power 4 equal to 49. So this will be equal to alpha power 8 plus beta power 8 plus 2 times alpha beta whole power 4 equal to 49. Now this is 1. So I can write alpha power 8 plus beta power 8 plus 2 times 1 power 4 which is 1 equal to 49. So finally alpha power 8 plus beta power 8 will be equal to 49 minus 2. So I will write 47. Let's say this is our equation number 4. Now I will perform two operations 1 into 2. So equation 1 was alpha square plus beta square and LHS of 2 was alpha cube minus beta cube. RHS will be multiplied 3 times 4. Now we will multiply. We will multiply, we will get alpha power 5 minus beta power 5. Then cross product will give us alpha cube beta square minus alpha square beta cube and RHS will be 12. Now you can see I will take alpha square beta square common from here. So I can write equation as alpha power 5 minus beta power 5 plus alpha square beta square is common. In the bracket, we will get alpha minus beta equal to 3 times 4, 12. Now alpha times beta is 1, alpha minus beta is also 1. 
so i will get alpha power 5 minus beta power 5 plus this will be 1 a square times 1 equal to 12 or alpha power 5 minus beta power 5 plus 1 equal to 12 so we will be getting alpha power 5 minus beta power 5 this will come out 11 let's say this is our equation number 5 now we will perform second operation 4 times 5 so equation 4 was alpha power 8 plus beta power 8 and RHS was 47 times equation 5 is here alpha power 5 minus beta power 5. This will be equal to 47 times 11. Let's multiply. I will multiply here and let me write our equation once. Here it is. Now alpha power 8 times alpha power 5, alpha power 13, beta power 8 times beta power 5 and in between sign would be negative. So beta power 13. Now cross product. I will get alpha power 5 beta power 8 minus alpha power 8 beta power 5. 47 times 11 would be 517. Or I can write alpha power 13 minus beta power 13. I will take alpha power 5 beta power 5 common from these two. So we will get beta cube minus alpha cube in the bracket equal to 517. Now we know that alpha cube minus beta cube was equation 2 value was 4. So I will take minus common from this bracket and here we can write expression E plus alpha power 5 beta power 5 we can write alpha beta whole power 5 minus 1 is common from the bracket and then we will write alpha cube minus beta cube equal to 517. If I will write alpha cube minus beta cube, then this value was 4, equation number 2. This was equation 2. So here we will be writing 4. I will get E plus alpha beta, this was 1, 1 power 5 times minus 1 times 4 equal to 517. 1 power 5 is 1, minus 1 times 4 is negative 4, E and RHS will be 570. So 1 times 4 is 4. I will write E minus 4 equal to 517. Now add 4 to both sides. We will get our final answer 517 plus 4. So I will be writing expression E will become 521. This is our required answer. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Take care.